Look how big they are, those girls. Oh, look at the babies. Hi, cows. Hi, babies. <laughs> Why the why the hybrid? What's the benefits to well, the breed? Uh, Wagyu is known for the amount of fat that's in its meat and marbling. Okay. I got that right. right. And uh, the American palate, a purebred. Yeah. Yeah. It's, too yeah. <laughs> it's too much. Too much fat. Oh, I gotcha. So if you breed them in with a beef cow, like an Angus, it leans it out a little bit, and people like it better. These guys are about two months old. And, uh, now here again with with uh, rotational grazing, they would not be in here if I didn't make them be in here. They would rather be out in the middle of that field eating the grasses, nicer and tenderer. But I want them to be in here. So to put up fences again. We use the same same setup, um, poly wire with the step in posts and a small electric fencer and they'll stay right there. They got out yesterday morning because, or was it this morning? Yeah, it was this morning. For some reason, they were roughhousing over here and they pushed through the gate. Um, my wife was down here with Liz and they walked up and the cows followed them. <laughs> and then the boys ran them back down. They know right where to go. These mother cows are about four years old, so they know the routine around here. Yeah. These guys came here last summer, so they stayed the winter with us, and they calve this spring. There's two more to calve yet. And they're beef cows. And they're not friendly. You know, you can walk in there and they'll just move away from you. They won't hurt you, but they're not like the milk cows that want to come over and get itched and rubbed. Are there any questions about these guys or how we do this? These fields here are hay fields, so we do cut these off, we roll up the hay, bring it up to the barn and store it for winter use. But after we've got the hay off of it, we'll, we'll graze them, we'll graze the fields, and it makes sense.